continue with chapter 22 the branching of the road when you come to the place where the branch in the road is quite apparent you cannot go ahead you must go either one way or the other for now if you go straight ahead the way you went before you reach the branch you will go nowhere the whole purpose of coming this far was to decide which branch you will take now the way you came no longer matters it can no longer serve no one who reaches this far can make the wrong decision although he can delay and there is no part of the journey that seems more hopeless and futile than standing where the road branches and not deciding on which way to go it is but the first few steps along the right way that seem hard for you have chosen although you may still think you can go back and make the other choice this is not so a choice made with the power of heaven to uphold it cannot be undone your way is decided there will be nothing you will not be told if you acknowledge this and so you and your brothers stand here in this holy place before the veil of sin that hangs between you and the face of Christ let it be lifted raise it together for it is but a veil that stands between you either you alone will either see it as a solid block nor realize how thin the drapery that separates you now yet it is almost over in your awareness and peace has reached you even here before the veil think what will happen after the love of Christ will light your faces and shine from them into a darkened world that needs the light and from this holy place he will return with you not leaving it nor you you will become his messengers returning him unto himself think of the loveliness that you will see who walk with him and think how beautiful will each of you look to the other how happy you will be to be together after such a long and lonely journey where you walked alone the gates of heaven open now for you will you now open to the sorrowful and none who looks upon the Christ in you but will rejoice how beautiful the sight you saw beyond the veil which you will bring to light the tired eyes of those as weary now as once you were how thankful will they be to see you come among them offering Christ forgiveness to dispel their faith in sin every mistake you make your brother will gently have corrected for you for in his sight your loveliness is his salvation which he would protect from harm and each will be the other's strong protector from everything that seems to rise between you both so shall you walk the world with me whose message has not yet been given everyone for you are here to let it be received God's offer still is open yet it waits acceptance from you who have accepted it is it received into your joined hands is it safely given for you who share it have become its willing guardian and protector to all who share the love of God the grace is given to the givers of what they have received and so they learn that it is theirs forever all barriers disappear before their coming as every obstacle was finally surmounted that seemed to rise and block their way before this veil you lift together opens the way to truth to more than you those who would let illusions be lifted from their minds are this world's saviors walking the world with their Redeemer and carrying his message of hope and freedom and release from suffering to everyone who needs a miracle to save him how easy it is to offer this miracle to everyone no one who has received it for himself could find it difficult 
for by receiving it he learned it was not given him alone. Such is the function of a holy relationship, to receive together and give as you received. Standing before the veil, it still seems difficult. But hold out your joined hands and touch this heavy seeming block and you will learn how easily your fingers slip through its nothingness. It is no solid wall, and only an illusion stands between you and the Holy Self you share together. And from the workbook, Lesson 177, God is but love, and therefore so am I. There is no death, the Son of God is free. God is but love, and therefore so am I. Now are we one with Him who is our source. God is but love, and therefore so am I. Amen.